Here is an image of endoplasmic reticulum, some ribosomes in the process of producing polypeptides. There's one that's been drawn somewhat more darkly. And here we see glycosylation occurring, the addition of sugars added as short oligosaccharides to amino acids in the polypeptides, often serines or threonines. These are amino acids to which one can easily covalently link sugars. Several different kinds of sugars are involved, shown by the different cartoons. They get put on in groups or individually to form what's called a typical core glycoside. When the ribosome has finished translating the protein, the protein, of course, ends up inside the rough endoplasmic reticulum, and we call that a packaged protein, shown here illustrated in miniature with a core glycoside. On the left now are which sugars are involved, and acetylglucosamine, sometimes called NAG for short, mannose, and of course glucose, and then other sugars will be added as these proteins progress through the Golgi vesicles and reach eventually uh, their final destination. The additional sugars that are put on to the core glycoside are referred to as terminal glycosides or terminal sugars. So terminal glycosylation occurs in Golgi vesicles, and here we have an illustration of a Golgi stack within the cytosol of the cell. And in it, in the trans vesicles, it's not labeled here, but the vesicles showing the proteins are trans vesicles, we see a packaged protein, and we even see a protein that's embedded in the Golgi membrane, having been produced in the RER, but instead of ending up in the RER vesicle space, ends up in the membrane. A vesicle will butt off of the trans face of the Golgi to form, in this case, a secretion vesicle, which migrates to the cell surface, the membranes fuse, the proteins that are in the lumen come out, and those, of course, are secreted proteins, and the proteins that are embedded in the membrane of this vesicle with the sugars facing inside the vesicle become sugars on the cell surface, on the plasma membrane, and this accounts for why the sugars are only on the outside surface of cells. The so-called packaged proteins, which we say are in the RER, are actually topologically not in the cytosol, so they're outside of the cell.